Of course, here I wish to bring your attention to one point also, which unfortunately is very, very prevalent in our society, that many women who are suffering, they are suffering because of negligence, or they are suffering because of the husband's bad habits, or they are suffering because of other reasons. Then this suffering sometimes reaches a stage where they cannot bear with patience the troubles and the problems that she is experiencing. And then she goes to different people and everyone tells her, no, you must make sabar, you must make sabar, you must make sabar. But it does not say anywhere in the Quran Sharif and the Hadith Sharif that you must make sabar until you have a heart attack or until you have a nervous breakdown or until you land yourself in the hospital or you become another statistic. It does not say that. We should try and resolve the problem in accordance with the Quran and Sunnah, the mediation, the arbitration, whatever all has been suggested. And if there is no hope of reconciling or there is no hope of the husband changing, then we should not force her to continue in that state and then sometimes even take her life. Also, we must remember that it is not just a one-way street. It's not always the problem of the husband. There are many, many women who are giving problems to their husbands. There are many women who are the cause of major, major problems in the husband's life because of their bad habits and their weaknesses and their shortcomings. Now, they also, the husband is not supposed to be making sabar until his dying day. As far as possible, we will say, try and resolve, try and reconcile, try and find some solution. But if it just doesn't work out, so then there is no purpose in just living like furniture in a home. So many homes, the wife and the husband, they sleep in separate rooms, they don't talk. There is a kind of agreement between them that they are not going to have anything to do with each other. Now, this is something that causes great amount of trauma and problems even for the children.